The Waimea Stream is located an hour's drive north of Invercargill. Flowing through the countryside of New Zealand's deep south, it feeds the Matalda River, a river internationally recognised for brown trout fishing in New Zealand. The water of the Waimea Stream has some of the highest nitrate concentrations in the Southland region, largely due to high levels in the groundwater, which feeds the stream above. Not content to see the stream's water quality continue to decline, the region's farmers have stepped up and are making changes to how they farm to protect the future of the Waimea Stream and its surrounding catchment. It flows through several areas of distinctly different geology. Very similar land use on top of them, however very different water quality outcomes in the groundwater and subsequently influence on the surface waters that they contribute to. Nitrate is of concern in uh, groundwaters primarily because of the impact it can have on human health at high levels and in surface waters primarily because of the impact it can have on the ecosystem health. High levels of nitrogen in the stream result in uh, undesirable growths of slime and algae on the riverbed which can subsequently affect the insects, the fish food and in turn the fish. The Waimea stream borders uh, the farm here and it has done right from 1881 when my great great grandfather bought the property and it is important to ourselves and the area and we certainly don't want to see it get any worse than the situation that it is in now. I was part of the Balfour Groundwater Project that started in 2007. We learned a lot of information about how our farming practices on the land and also the geology has a major impact on water quality and groundwater. We knew our topsoils but we didn't know the geology underneath that and the effect it was having and we have learnt a lot about what needs to be done and Environment South and actually have been very helpful in really making us understand what we have. Following on from what we learnt at the Balfour Groundwater Project, we have implemented some changes in our farming practices. We're building a wintering barn to reduce the nitrogen leaching over the winter time. It both helps economically and environmentally to reduce the impact that we have on the land. We realise that uh, this area does have a bit of a problem. So we've changed things considerably in the sense that uh, we don't do any winter grazing of cows anymore because it's having an effect on uh, pasture growth into the future and also it has a huge bearing on obviously leaching. The other thing that we're doing is also the grain side of it. We're doing a lot of winter grain or autumn sowing grain and that helps the situation over that winter period as well. So uh, the two of them should help on this property and that's what we're looking at at this stage. And with monitoring, hopefully uh, things will improve. Water quality in the Waimea Basin is a product of both the land use and the physical setting of the Waimea Basin. Improvements in water quality will rely on improved land management practices and subsequent to that, understanding of the time it takes for water to move through that system. Initial estimates put that at less than 25 years, so it's realistic to see some improvements within our lifetime.